Hey guys, this is the part 3 of projections with the database from a Spring Boot application using Spring Data JPA. In this video, let us learn to perform projections using Spring Expression Language. If you want to learn projections using DTOS classes and DTOS interfaces, please watch my video on the same. What is the difference between these two? That is using DTO for projection and using SPEL for projection. In the first two cases, it is called as closed projection. In case of spring expression language, it is called as open projection. When you are using DTO as classes or DTO as interfaces, say for example, for class, if I am having product details DTO, then it is mandatory that I should have the same instance variables as that of the domain model class. Say brand category. Of course, you will have the data type also. Together with this, it is mandatory that you need to have a parameterized constructor, then you need to have a two string, you need to have getter methods. If you are using DTO as interfaces, there also you need to have getter methods for the instance variables. Say, for example, if I am having I brand DTO. Here, if I am trying to retrieve brand and category from the table, then I need to have getter methods for that. Similar to the first case, here also, if I want to get brand and category from the table, I need to have the corresponding getter methods. The brand and the category, whatever you are giving over here, should be available in the domain model. Or the getter method, whatever you are writing in this DTO should be same as that of the getter method what you have got in the domain model class. So, you are restricted only to the instance variables or the properties of the domain model. But when you are working with spring expression language, here this is also an interface. Say for example, let us have an interface with the name product info. Assume here also if you want to retrieve brand and category, I, I don't have to use the same instance variable names or the same getter methods. I can have any method name. Say for example, I can have the method name as get details. The return type will be string and this will be annotated with at value which is going to take an expression language. The expression language will talk about the properties that you want to project. So here I want to project brand and category. So you can just pass brand and category. Target.brand, target.category where target refers to the entity. Okay. Without further delay, let us see how this can be done using Spring Expression Language. Let me go back to the application. I will open the product repository. Let us use the same query what we have discussed. Select category, comma brand from product where product name equal to question mark 1. So to work with Spring Expression Language, we need an interface. Let me create the interface. The interface name is I product info. Click finish. So this is called as open projection. You can have any method name. Let me have the method name as get details. The return type is a string and annotated with at value within which you pass the spring expression language within double quotes hash curly braces target dot brand plus target dot category pass the properties that you want to project and the target refers to the entity in our case the entity is product now this is done let us go to the repository we need to add the method name it is find by product name let us add the method find by product name I will change it to get by. The return type is I product info. Oh, already I have a get by method. 
I will change it to read by. The return type is I product info. Yeah. Let us copy the same method in the service interface. So this is open projection using SPEL. Implement it in the service IMPL. Add unimplemented methods. Call the method using product repository. Dot read by product name. By passing product name. Save all. Come to the main class. Now using product service. Let us call the method. Dot read by product name. By passing the product name. Let me select a different product name. Notebook. The return type is product info. Product info equal to product service dot read by product name. The next line let us print product info dot get details. See the return type of get details is a string which will print brand and category with the space in between. Okay. So whatever you are passing here will be printed. Target dot brand. Target in our case is product. Brand is the property in product class. Category is also a property in the product class. So this is using open projection. I am commenting the previous part of the code. Let me save it and I will run it. Yeah, here we have got the output. Classmate and stationery. For notebook. The brand is classmate, category is stationery. So this is how you perform projection using spring expression language. We have seen projections using three different categories using DTO as classes, using DTO as interfaces and also using spring expression language. That's it. Thank you.